Today we're going to be taking a look at the best brake controllers available for the 2015 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited. Now we're going to be taking a look at four different brake controllers. We're going to take a look at each different one and see where they're most useful so you can determine which one you're going to need. First one we have is the Kurt Triflex. Here we have the Takancha Prodigy P3. This is an extremely popular brake controller. Follow that up with the Red Art Toe Pro Elite. And then kind of a curveball, we've got the Takancha Prodigy RF. Now this one's designed to mount on your trailer, so you really don't have to make any modifications to your vehicle as long as you have a working seven pole. Then you'll need a power outlet inside just to plug in the handheld here for all your controls. Now all of these brake controllers are proportional. We really feel like proportional is the way to go to give you the best operating performance out of your brake controller, especially when compared to the time delayed systems. Essentially with a proportional controller, this is going to match the braking input that you're doing inside of the vehicle. So if you hit the brakes softly, it's going to brake the trailer softly. You hit the brakes hard, it's going to brake the trailer hard and anywhere really in between. So it's going to save the safety situation. If your trailer doesn't brake enough, it might try to push you when you're trying to stop. So we clearly don't want that. But it also saves a lot of wear and tear on the trailer braking components and your truck's braking components. If they're both doing equal shares of the work at the right time, neither one of the vehicle's brakes are gonna be overworked. Now we're gonna start by talking about the two more traditional mount style brake controllers. That's gonna be our P3 and our Triflex. Now we've chosen the Triflex as one of the best brake controllers basically because it's at a good price point and it still gets good customer reviews. This has been designed to work with up to four axles it's going to work with most electric over hydraulic setups and it's going to allow for a 90 degree mounting up or down so we can have it straight up and down we could have it this way just it's just really important to keep this in the direction of our line of travel that's one thing you'll want to be concerned with it's going to have a bracket here to mount it to your dashboard and so you're just going to use two holes to mount the bracket and then on each side we'll have the two holes that'll just screw into our brake controller as you can see, the Triflex also offers a slightly smaller size than what we get out of the P3. Not quite as wide. So some people enjoy that they can mount that in areas a little bit smaller. I think on the Jeep, you've got pretty good amount of room there underneath the dash to get it mounted. But if you're long legged and if your knees are closer to the dash, the Triflex might be a good option. Now, one that I rate a little bit higher than the Triflex just because Really the ease of use and also the feedback that the brake controller gives you if you have any kind of problem is really good. That's the Prodigy P3, that's from Takancha. Now this is also gonna work for up to four axles. It gives us a lot of on-screen feedback, so if we have any issues at all with the trailer, they're easy to find, it's easy to figure out what's going on. Whereas with the Triflex, you're gonna have it's more of like a digital display, which is going to be right over here, and it's going to give you codes. At that point, you need to refer back to the manual to figure out what the codes are before you can address it. So I like the advantage of that. Now, this is designed to mount 360 degrees. So if you want to, you can mount it really in any configuration. And overall, it gets excellent reviews with our customers. You see a lot of people going from other manufacturer brake controllers to the P3 just to eliminate hassle. The P3 is also gonna have a very easy to read display. So as you go through the boost modes, as you go through your levels, everything will be displayed there so you can quickly reference it. It also has programmable settings. So if different people, they might have slightly different preferences in how they want it set or different trailers, you can just go to one of the quick settings rather than going through and dialing everything in. This has also been designed to work with all of the electric over hydraulic systems. The next one we're going to talk about is the Toe Pro Elite. Uh, basically, this is a brake controller that's designed to operate just like our brake controller is here, but it's going to add a user control mode for when you're hauling a trailer off the beaten path. When you get off on trails and things like that, it gives us a really good option on how to use that controller to the maximum benefit. Now, with the user controlled mode and the off-road application, you're not going to have to worry about the brake controller activating when you don't want it to. So when roads get a little bit rough and we hit those bumps, a typical brake controller can sense that and it wants to apply the brakes on our trailer. Essentially at that point our trailer is going to act like an anchor, so it might get us in a situation we don't want to be in. 
On the flip side of that, if we're going down a hill and we start to lose traction, if our trailer starts to push us, if we have our brake controller turned all the way down, even if we hit the manual override lever, we're not going to get any braking force on that trailer to help us stay in control. By being able to simply press that button, get that braking force, it can help us out a lot. Now the Topro Elite is going to work for up to three axles. So we have a slight advantage with that TriFlex of the P3, it works with up to four. Now this can be mounted at any angle. So we have a lot more flexibility with this one than what we do with the P3 or with the TriFlex. And we're able to mount this underneath the dashboard and we can mount our control button here in any of the knockout or switch panels that we already have. We have several mount panels available to help you out with that. It's also designed to work with all of the electric over hydraulic systems. And you don't have a lot of brake controller up on your dashboard taking up room. This is really the only thing you're gonna see visible is just the dial there on your dash. The Topro Elite's also designed to work with 12 volt and 24 volt systems. Now the last one we're gonna talk about is the Prodigy RF. It's also from Takancha. And this gives you the solution for just having essentially one brake controller mounted to the trailer. Then on the vehicle side, we just need to plug it in. This is gonna work out well if you have a trailer that you haul with a truck and a Jeep, or if you have several vehicles that you use to haul a trailer. Instead of applying a brake controller, installing a brake controller in each of those vehicles, you can run it all off of this. And see, this is just a 12 volt plug. It's gonna go into any 12 volt outlet. Now with the controls in the cab, it's just gonna be like a brake controller. We've got our manual override, we have our boost control and our gain settings. So you really don't lose anything. It's not as capable, it doesn't give us as much feedback. It's a lot more like the TriFlex is in that department. It's not designed to work with electric over hydraulic brakes either, so that's something you want to keep in mind. One factor that you really need to consider when using a Prodigy RF is that this needs to be sitting pretty level. So you need to start by mounting it level on your trailer, but if it gets angled up or down too much, it's not going to work as well as if it were nice and flat. So it's important to have the right ball mount on your vehicle so your trailer sits level. The Prodigy RF has also been designed to work with up to three axles. Now there are some wiring requirements for each of the brake controllers. With the Prodigy RF, you must have a working seven pole on the back of the Jeep. With the Topro Elite, the P3 and the TriFlex, it can be a six pole or a seven pole. You kind of have that option. So if you just have a four pole on the back of your Jeep, then you need to add part number ETBC7. That's going to be the electronic brake controller installation kit. If you don't have a four pole at all, you'll have to start by getting that and then add that ETBC7 kit. And again, that's going to give you the working seven pole that you'll need. Now we can sum up what we've talked about. All the brake controllers are really good brake controllers and they rate very highly with our customers. Now, as far as the Kurt TriFlex goes, this is going to be somebody looking for a more cost effective or inexpensive option or somebody that just tows occasionally. Now, as far as the P3, that's somebody that wants either the best available, that gives you all the user feedback, gives you the programmable settings, and gives you a lot of ease of use, or for somebody that tows more regularly, and it's something that you're going to interact with more often, you'll want the feedback that it provides. Now, as far as the Tow Pro Elite from Red Arc, this is going to be for the customer that wants a proportional brake controller that's going to give you full user control so either on or off road, it's going to work really well. Now the Takancha Prodigy RF, it's going to be for that multiple vehicle situation or somebody, maybe you've got a leased vehicle and you don't want to modify the vehicle at all. And that's going to complete our look at the best brake controllers available for the Wrangler JK.